Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Abbey Research Reads. I'm Dr. Erin, and today I am discussing with you Heartberries, a memoir by Therese Marie Mailhawk, who is a member of the Seabird Island Indian Reservation. And this book came out in 2018, and I read it probably two years ago, although it's hard to tell with the COVID time. And we've decided to cover it for Abbey Research Reads because it's a fantastic exploration of living through trauma and mental and dealing with a rather significant mental health crisis. Um, Therese suffers from uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and bi bipolar two disorder which this memoir kind of came about through her writing process while she was institutionalized for treatment. And so it's an exploration of, of memory and trauma and pain, but also finding yourself and uh, grappling with your past and your place in the world and also the people who made you. And all of those are really universal kind of qualities that, that we can identify with and empathize with but it's also very specifically about her experience as a Native American woman within all of those contexts. And we talk a lot about Native and Indigenous folks here at Abbey Research as part of the broad swath of, of diversity that exists among human beings, um, and particularly about the inherently exclusive history that we get in the United States of Native and Indigenous folks and their lived experiences, both past and present. And for a lot of people in the United States, aside from learning about the Trail of Tears and maybe some other specific histories to their location, I grew up in, in central Colorado. So I learned a lot about the Arapaho and the Ute and the Cheyenne uh, peoples that inhabited and still inhabit the land that I was raised on. But did I learn a lot about being a contemporary Indian or Native American? Not until college and only because I chose to. So the beauty of, of any book really, but of this book specifically is that it presents people who maybe haven't thought a lot about contemporary Native and Indigenous experiences in the land that is the United States and think of them as relegated only to the past, which is not at all the case. And so in that way, Heartberries is very specific and an essential read for understanding how we have excluded Native and Indigenous stories from the history of the United States, how we have objectified them and stereotyped them and how that has done untold levels of intergenerational damage in terms of trauma, mental health, self-esteem, all of those things. And for the rest of the time on this channel, we'll be continuing to explore those ideas um, and share as many voices of these folks as we can find uh, with you. So I cannot recommend Heartberries enough for both the specific and the universality of what she wrote about in this book. That is the Abbey Research Reads for now. We will see you guys for our next review.